How do you trade Jordan Mason walking into week six and beyond? Now, real quickly, I want to preface that I'm not suggesting you have to. I'm not suggesting I don't love Jordan Mason. He served us well. This is an absolute smash of a land for us on the Fantasy Football Show because we called this from the jump that this kid could potentially win you leagues. And Jordan Mason's been delivering upon that promise. If you have him, he's been cooking. Let him cook. However, there's always a time to look at the risk versus reward relationship between a player and their situation. And Christian McCaffrey is almost certainly a dilemma potentially on the horizon. Now, is it a dilemma that's making me sell Mason no matter what? The answer to that is no. Right now, I'm going to tell you the answer to that is absolutely no. But do I explore trading him away in a creative package in order to get out of the risk? Do a lateral trade just to get out a little bit of the risk? Again, only if I can get out of the risk in a way that makes my team better. I'm never making trades that don't make my team better. If someone pops off and has a big game, let's call it Jamar Chase. I'm not trading Jamar Chase if I'm winning, okay? Because I don't need to. But if I'm not winning, if I have one win and I've got Jamar Chase, if I've got Saquon Barkley and I've got one win and my honest inventory assessment of my team is I can't win with Saquon. It sure is fun watching him play. And a lot of outside Oscars might say you can't trade Saquon Barkley. They don't know the situation we're talking about. If you can't win with a player that you can sell extremely high, you've got to entertain selling the player high. And Mason's no different, but in a different way, packaged in a different way. If you believe that you will potentially have risk that you don't think will allow you to win or close out your season, Christian McCaffrey coming back, and let's say they're a 50-50 divide. I don't think McCaffrey just comes back and takes his job. I think if he tries to play that kind of football, that volume of football, he will immediately get hurt. But will they take a little bit away from Mason to make him an 80-yard and an occasional touchdown player instead of a 120-yard and a touchdown player pretty much every two or three games he gets, or two out of three games he gets that kind of volume. That's what he is right now. And I think there's a chance he becomes a very good 80-yard, 90-yard player. Maybe he doesn't get a touchdown every week. That's if McCaffrey's able to hit the field and stay on the field, even inconsistently stay on the field. There's still that threat. And so you're asking me, I'm asking myself, I'm hypothetically asking all of you, how do we get out of Jordan Mason in an appropriate way And when do we say, nah, I can't get this deal, so I'm standing down. Let's break it down right now. The Fantasy Football Show begins right now. So that intro was long enough to map out the the direction of the show for sure. But what am I really saying at the end of the day? Do I want you to trade Mason more than I want you to keep him? The answer is it depends on your team, as I just kind of mapped out, but In general, I think it's always smart to avoid risk and it's always smart to shop around and see if you can creatively get into, let's call it a Brees Hall. If you can take a Jordan Mason and turn him into a Brees Hall, and I don't know that you can do this straight up, but if you could, of course I would take Brees Hall 10 times out of 10. There's risk involved in Mason, there's risk involved in Brees Hall, but the risk in Hall situation isn't something that's kind of out of your control. Now, if you've got CMC and Mason, you're kind of safe, but I still shop this package for Brees Hall straight up. That's me. Might not be you. Maybe you're like, Smitty, I only want a Kyron. And and I can understand that. And and I would certainly try to get Kyron over Brees Hall, but probably not going to happen. The whole nature of buying low and selling high is you're getting out of a player that has some concerns or a package like CMC and Mason, and you're buying into a, a perceived problem that you believe is not as big as the, the person that owns the player might think. So Hall's concern, not a big deal. Two back-to-back tough matchups for Brees Hall and two dud games gives him the ability, gives us the ability to go buy him on the low. 
I don't think that's going to last forever. I think coming out of a strong week in his next contest, he'll be untouchable again because the moment he has 100 total yards and a touchdown, everybody will feel like the sky is no longer falling. He won't be by low material. Right now, you can get him at one, two turn equivalent if you're drafting today value. I think at a minimum, I don't think you have to pay anything more than that to get him. In some cases, you might be able to sell a lot of players that are playing outside of that territory of player, but sell a couple of them together, and then boom, you can go ahead and, and grab a Brees Hall on the cheap. But trying to stay, we'll do a buy low show and Hall will be on that. Trying to stay focused on, on merely selling Mason. If you could sell Mason and you don't have CMC, you're probably looking at having to give up a little bit more because you don't have the safety uh, of the of the duo in CMC. You don't have that, so you're going to have to probably give up a, a player that's that's playing pretty well, a wide receiver that's that's having a nice little you know stretch of of play. Maybe it's a a Flowers. Maybe you know Downs ended up having a good week and now he's kind of re-emerging you've got players like Pittman maybe even a, a, a JSN is needed you send this combo away for Brees Hall and you can get out of this this risk that you really feel like is going to mount and, and build as you get closer to McCaffrey's return especially if you don't have CMC on your roster now if we weren't going in the direction of of, of Hall what other moves could we make? To be honest with you, the running back stable is kind of hard to break down in terms of a, a Mason for one player type of move. You almost have to go in the direction of a two for two, meaning you go get an MHJ who is not as heavily weighted as Mason. So you get two players. This is a one for two. And that second player you could get as high as an HN injured and on a bye week or someone might say, hell no to that. I'm going to buy and, and, and wait and believe in HN. And that, that's fine. I'm just merely telling you what, what's possible. A walker who's coming off a very disappointing week. Maybe MHA is not the player you could get in that combo. Maybe we're talking more. Maybe we're talking more of a player like an injured Cooper Cup, you know, that someone doesn't want to wait on. Or maybe it's a player to the tune of a, a Devontae Smith. Or maybe it's not smith maybe you go after a straight up wide receiver potential bounce back monster and tyree kill you could do this straight up if you wanted to i would try and get another piece if at all possible let's say it's a running back piece maybe i doubt you could get him but maybe a chase brown but his value is climbing sky high right now so he might be too costly to just throw in you might be able to get, let's say, before the, the game tonight, this, this video is airing before the game, you can get a, a cream hunt thrown in before its value either plummets or becomes really nice. And I think it could very well go in the direction of becoming a nice little value. I think, you know, you could also ask for a, a Bigsby or you could go after a, the pick that gets you Bigsby. You could go after a Jonathan Brooks who is not available and, and seems a bit away from helping anybody, so people are maybe willing to toss him into a deal. You could certainly go after a guy like James Conner. You could go after a player. That's kind of it when we start talking about a, a player this high in Tyreek Hill. But MHJ is falling off the map, and if you do an, a Mason for MHJ, this player can kind of be upgraded back into those other players we just talked about that might feel a little more out of reach. But I'm certainly trying to take Mason and turning him into a, a two-player situation. Or at the very least, I'm trying for a big swing at Tyreek Hill. Would I maybe see myself adding something on my side of the fence to go after a C.D. Lamb who his owners either love him or they're absolutely scared to death about the situation. In this situation, you're needing to add probably easily as a Flowers or a Pickens, easily a JSN, but that, that probably wouldn't uh, necessarily get it done, but that's somebody I'd throw in. Maybe you make it even more complicated and and you throw in a Higgins and then this makes this a two for two where you're getting something light but that you like a lot right here in this spot that would be how you get rid of Mason without Christian McCaffrey now if you had Christian McCaffrey and again this is all to say that I don't necessarily need to get rid of Jordan Mason I'm not trying to tell you that you should get rid of him or that he can't be a monster going forward or continue his play or that Christian McCaffrey's some sort of lock to come back he's not but 
if you want to get out, I'm trying to help you get out. And in leagues where I have a ton of Mason and I have a lot of Mason, I got Mason in, in probably more than half of my leagues because of walking the walk while we're talking the talk. I, I've been scooping up and, and playing this guy like a mad dog. I am trying to lay off and hedge a little bit. And if I've got Christian McCaffrey and Mason, I have a much more lucrative package to send to somebody. And now I can go get a Tyreek Hill and for sure get something else. And it might be a Worthy before his game kicks off. It might be a Kareem Hunt before his game kicks off. Again, he might go up in value. It might be a QB upgrade of sorts. Maybe maybe you can send somebody a Kyler Murray and you get a Jalen Hurts. Maybe you can do a Josh Allen upgrade and you go get Josh Allen. And now you have Mason and CMC and you add in another piece like, let's call it Higgins or DJ Moore. You know, DJ Moore just had a huge game. Higgins had a huge game. But I, I would definitely trade these two. And I consider this one Mason Christian McCaffrey is like one player and DJ Moore for Hill and Josh Allen especially if this owner owns Josh Allen and they have JD5 or they have a quarterback that they actually want to start playing and they're like, I've had it with Josh Allen. We'll have Josh Allen on the buy low video as well. But these are just a few ways to trade Jordan Mason, a avenue I strongly consider you go down and explore. Not that you need to, not that you have to, not that you should sell low, not that I'm telling you, get rid of them, get rid of them, and you take the highest offer that comes your way. I'm not saying that. But if you can get rid of them smartly, it is good management. It is a good allocation of resources. It is a good safe maneuver if you do it right. Live Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern, every single Monday through Friday. Also additionally live when big news breaks. And Underdog Fantasy, get on over to Underdog. Use code SMITTY. Link in the description. Link is probably in the live chat right now, too. They'll match your first deposit up to $1,000 by using code SMITTY or the link that I've provided that's in the description or the live chat. And that link enters code SMITTY for you. They also give you a free pick in your account and uh, just go take care of business over on Underdog because you can start over now. Whether you just want more skin in the game and you're crushing it anyway, or maybe your season's in shambles and you want to start over. They got a week six to week 17 uh, resurrection draft that doesn't account for weeks one or five. The only thing you bring to the table in that draft is the knowledge you have and you go draft week six on and start completely over. Go try it on Underdog and then don't forget that I've got a Patreon that's 24 seven live chatting, 10 bucks a month, cancel anytime. That link is also in the description of the video and probably in the live chat and it's patreon.com slash the fantasy football show. Now get out of here. Hello.